Hi, and welcome to m and Ambassadors, another episode of USP, Becoming the Ultimate Sales Professional. Now, on this episode, I'd like to talk about handling brush-offs. These are those quick, sharp statements clients will throw at you because they don't want to continue speaking on the phone. Now, this may be a lead that came in from a campaign, but they've now started working with another broker, so they may not want to speak with you, or it might have come in a few months ago, and now you feel you have an opportunity for them, and so you're reaching out to them. They just don't expect the call, so they may not want to continue. Now, the thing that you have to always remember about brush-offs is the client will convince you that they are busy, so they sell you that idea. But the reality is they've answered the phone. That means they can talk. So let's look at some standard brush-offs and how to handle them. You contact the client and the client says, I'm busy right now. Call me back later. I'm in a meeting. They're all very similar. So when the client says, call me back later with confidence, your confidence is built on the fact that he's not busy. You will simply turn around and say, Ahmed, I understand. I'll quickly check if I can add value and we'll reschedule for later. Is that okay with you? Now, usually seven out of 10 clients will tell you, okay, make it quick because they did not expect that kind of a response. They expected when is a good time to speak. So break your standard response. Try something like this. Ahmed, I understand. I'll quickly check if I can add value and we'll reschedule for later. Is that okay with you? There's another variation to this. Ahmed, I understand. I'll quickly check if I can add value and I'll only reschedule if required. Is that okay with you? Try these and see how they work for you. Now, another brush off that you will get very frequently is I'm not interested. Now, here what you gotta look for is the little pause that they give you after they say I'm not interested. Typically, someone who's not interested will either bang the phone down on you or they'll say, I'm not interested and disconnect. But when they say, I'm not interested, and there is that moment, what we call a linger, they've given you the opportunity to come into that. So there is a technique that you would use here. It's called the instant reverse. Once you use that, the client usually gets a little confused or surprised. And then you use a feel felt found technique and then you will go into a did you know. So there's three parts to this technique, the instant reverse, the feel file found, and did you know. So here's an example. Client tells you, well, I'm not interested. I'll say, Ahmed, that's exactly why I'm calling you. The instant reverse, that's exactly why I'm calling you. What do you mean? Then you will drop your tone and say, Ahmed, I know how you feel. Some of my best clients initially felt the same. Here's what they discovered. Give whatever justification you want always end it by saying, did you know? Because every time you say, did you know, the human mind goes into acceptance mode that what you're saying after did you know is always an exciting fact. So, Ahmed, that's exactly why I'm calling you. What do you mean? I know how you feel. Some of my best clients initially felt the same. Here's what they found. Did you know? So that is your approach. If you want to personalize it, here's how you would do it. You bring the client into the conversation. So the client says, well, I'm not interested. I said, that's exactly why I'm calling you. What do you mean? Ahmed, I know how you feel. Some of my best clients, investors like you, initially felt the same. Here's what they discovered. Now, another brush off that you would always get is send me a WhatsApp. Send me email. Typically, send me WhatsApp. Send me details by WhatsApp. Now, remember, this is a brush off because they have no intention of reading the WhatsApp. They just recognize you're a broker. They don't want to talk to you. And it's too early anyway to send a WhatsApp. You don't have information. So here the trick is to change the tone of the call. So the client will tell you, send me WhatsApp. Let me give you the response and explain why there is a change in tone here, right? So the client says, send me a WhatsApp. I'll say, that's exactly what I was planning to do. So the client gets surprised. He doesn't expect this, right? That's exactly what I was planning to do. But I only wanted to send you what was important for you. And to do that, I just needed to ask you a couple of questions. That's why I called you. So may I quickly ask you that and then I'll send you the WhatsApp. Is that okay with you? You see, the trick here is that the client will tell you, okay, make it quick. What do you want to know? But he's talking. And as you continue in the phone call, asking the questions, you have a much higher probability of engaging him, getting his interest and going for the meeting. So what was the change in tone here? Did you call to send the WhatsApp? No, you actually called to speak. But what is the client using? A WhatsApp 
to brush you off. So you will change the tone by saying, that's why I called. I just wanted to understand what would help you or what would be of interest and then I am going to send you the WhatsApp. That's the change in tone. So, you are making it appear like, hey, I am calling just to ask a couple of questions so I can put something together and send it to you by WhatsApp. So, that's the change in tone. Let me do this for you again. Client says, send me a WhatsApp with all the details. I will say, that's exactly what I am planning to do. But I only wanted to send you what would be of interest to you. And to do that, I just need a few answers. That's the reason I called. So, may I quickly ask you a couple of questions and then I'll send together the WhatsApp for you. Is that okay with you? Now, usually in all of these approaches, around 70% of the clients will give you the time because they feel I have to answer one or two questions and then I bump you off. And But once you ask the right questions, properly structured, engaging the client, they'll even talk to you for 5, 7, 8 and 10 minutes. Why? Because we know that the millionaires and the billionaires of the world, when they are busy, they don't answer phones, especially unrecognized numbers, when they are being harassed every day with so many calls. So, if they have called, they can speak. That is the confidence that you must have when you use these techniques. I want to wish you the best. Try some of these techniques and keep closing those calls and get higher conversions for your meetings. I'll see you on the next episode of M&A Ambassadors USP Becoming the Ultimate Sales Professional.